Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily and welcome to Canali in Italy. Now I'm here to meet Eduardo who runs a Vibram Resole cobbler's shop. Now I don't know about you guys, but when I send off my climbing shoes to be repaired or resold, I often don't think about the process. So I'm here to discover the art form that is resoling climbing shoes and taking old battered things like these and making them into something new and shiny. The first step in the resoling process is a visual inspection of the shoes, as not all climbing shoes can be repaired. My Scarpa VSRs are right on the edge of what's possible to fix. Don't wait for holes to develop in your shoes, repair them before the damage goes through the outer rand. Every climbing shoe has a different shape. Eduardo needs to pick the correct climbing mould to fit inside the shoe so he can attach the rubber. Without this, the shoes will not be rigid enough to work on. The shoes are placed under a special infrared heating lamp. The heat reactivates the glue between the sole and the upper, turning it into a softer substance that's easy to manipulate. After two to three minutes, the shoes are ready. Eduardo then peels off the old rubber from the sole using pliers. He's careful not to pierce the upper of the shoe. He saves the discarded rubber for the next stage. Using the outline of the old material as a guide, he cuts out the basic shape of the new rubber sole. He uses a milling machine to smooth down the edges and create a better finish. With the same machine, he's careful to make sure all glue residue is removed and the surface of the shoe is smooth and ready for the new sole. Glue is then applied evenly to the sole of the shoe and left to dry for 20 minutes. Having waited, Eduardo uses a heat gun to reactivate the glue. He sticks the new rubber onto the sole and begins the skillful process of shaping the rubber. Once the shape is to his liking, a pressure machine is used to ensure the new sole stays on the shoe. The shoe is held firmly in place while the machine expands to wrap around it, squeezing the parts together. It's now time for the finishing touches. The shoe must be as good as new. Eduardo makes sure the cut is perfect around the rubber. Working by hand and with the milling machine, the shoe is brought up to the high standard expected. A Vibram sticker is applied to the new sole. As an official Vibram cobbler, this is the final stamp of approval.
With a last inspection, the shoe is ready to be posted back to the customer, or in this case, picked up by me. Okay. Eduardo, thank you so much. Uh, guys, I'm gonna take these new resold shoes back to the Epic TV studio and show you guys in detail what Eduardo has done to them because trust me, I had battered these things and they're now brand new. Back to the studio. So here we are back in the studio and now I can have a proper look at the resoling job on my Scarpa VSRs. Now I went for Vibram XS Grip 2 rubber. This was the original rubber on the shoe, but more importantly for me, this is a bouldering shoe or my bouldering shoe and therefore the softer, grippier texture of that XS grip suits the shoe really well. The joy of this whole process is that this is still my shoe. It's got my sweat in it, it's molded to my feet and yet it's been given this brand new lease of life with the resole. There's no wearing in time for this shoe and yet when I take it to the wall or the crag, it's going to feel like new. In my opinion, Eduardo is an artist. There's so much precision and skill to what he does and it was a pleasure watching him work. I put the link to his shop down below and some other Vibram resolers and it is worth going to an official one if you want a job as good as this. And the job is quality. The job he's done is really good. There's precision in his work and it looks so shiny and new. I can't wait to put it to the test. Thank you Vibram for having me along that day. I learned a lot and I hope you guys did too. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed that little look at something that perhaps you haven't seen before. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.